and use it against you. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so before we actually get into the mechanics of um, firing the card, we first have to learn how to hold our deck properly. Okay, we have to learn the proper grip uh, for the top shot. So, this is this is how we hold a deck. Okay, so not in the standard mechanics grip, but we're gonna hold the deck sideways instead okay so our index finger is not gonna be right here it's gonna be by the side of our, our deck okay now the reason why we hold the deck this way is because so that um, our pinky and our thumb can be in contact uh, on the two corners of the deck okay so the whole uh, I guess mechanics of firing off a card is to first create tension with our thumb and our pinky we're actually once we're pulling down on the card we're dragging the card we're actually creating tension okay so when I actually pull this card with my pinky it's creating tension on the card when I release that tension on the card the card is just gonna pop up okay so that's a basic um, firing mechanic of the top shot now I know it takes a lot of strength from your pinky so if you haven't done this technique before you probably have to spend some time uh, strengthening your pinky because um, again it's all about pinky power right so you have to put your uh, you have to put your finger your, your pinky here and then just practice um, dragging the top card down with your pinky now if your thumb is not touching the corner of this um, uh, this card right here, what's going to end up happening is your card is just going to fly away like this. Okay, so your card is just going to uh, you know uh, slide to the corner, which is pointless. So the whole reason why this thumb has to be up here is because um, this thumb is also creating tension on this point. So when I when, when my pinky is here. You know pulling down the card the card is actually not moving yet because my thumb is creating tension here and then if I keep pulling eventually this card will pop up okay and that's when the tension is released and then the card is being shot over to my other hand like this okay so first uh, first thing you got to do is to keep uh, firing firing the card just keep firing using your pinky, uh, develop that muscle, develop that muscle strength uh, in your pinky to fire your card. And then once you have the handled, what you have to do next is to control your, um, your, your firing, your, your shooting, your, your top shots, right? Because at the very beginning, um, before you have control on your pinky, what's usually gonna happen is your cards are gonna be all, all over the place. Okay? Because you cannot control that um, pinky of yours yet yeah, you cannot control the strength of your pinky so it's gonna fly all over the place but uh, with enough practice with enough um, I guess uh, muscle memory development your pinky you can pretty much control the card um, anywhere you want so typically you can control your card okay so very quickly in summary First, we gotta learn how to hold the deck properly. So hold it like this, thumb touching the top corner of your deck, and then pinky touching the lower corner of your deck. And then these three fingers here are just there to stabilize and um, to square up your deck really. Okay, and then mix up, when you fire your card, uh, use your pinky, okay? So apply pressure onto your top card by pulling your pinky down like this, okay? And then eventually um, enough tension will be stored in your card so that when you release finally release your card it's going to jump over to your other hand like that okay so again
okay. So um, again, just uh, try and practice as many times as you can. This is all just uh, muscle memory and trial and error. Once you have done it a couple uh, hundred times, perhaps, you will be, um, you will know, like basically you, you will know where the car is gonna land, right? So like if I start closing my eyes, I can still catch the car because I know this is my firing range. So right now I'm actually closing my uh, eyes and I can still catch my card. And I know it's gonna be somewhere around here, right? So really just uh, practice over and over again. And then eventually you will um, develop that sensitivity on your hand and do the top shot. Okay, so um, that's it. I hope you find it helpful and uh, talk to you next time. Bye.